Hey guys, it's Steve from Achievement Zero. Um, I just wanted to show you some other little sweeping techniques that I um, use sometimes. I don't use any of your songs, I just use them to practice. But um, they're just small little things that can improve your sweeping. And um, even your tapping, I'll show you. But my favorite sweeps to do, and just to warm up and kind of play around, are... Um, after I turn my guitar, yet again, back up, because it does that sometimes. And I add, I add reverb to mine, too. So it sounds just a little more um, echoey and full. I, I like it. Um, but what I do is I like to do sweeps. I start here on the 14th fret of the F string, down to the 15 on the A, and then 13 on the D, and I hammer on to the 17 on the D, and then go back up. So. It's simple it's just three strings nothing too big what I do to add a little flair is I'll tap onto the 18th fret on the D string too it gives it a little extra fill it's and you can do that as much as you want then I'll go down to 12 13 12 15 and then when I do the tapping there it's on the 17th fret so it's what I do when I tap is, um, and then I'll move down again to um, 10, 11, 10, and 13, and then move down once more to 9, 10, 9, 12. So together, it'll be... tapping it's really simple just practice it do slow and you'll get it faster and faster I mean it took me a while I still have some trouble with it sometimes I'm not gonna lie I mean not the greatest sweeper in the world, but um, yep, that's what I do. And you can always add more strings, you can experiment, see what you do. I mean, sometimes I add, um, for this, just add 15 on the high street, on the high C. That works. If you want to add another one, you can add 17 to the 15. That's complicated. I mean, if you're starting out, I wouldn't recommend doing a five string sweep. They get kind of tough. But that's all, just practice sweeping, and it's all you need to do if, for developing your skills, I mean, really. Thanks, see you.